Hi guys, I am proud to introduce you a new capability within the Moose framework and that is air-to-air -air tasking. I will explain the concepts of air-to-air -air tasking a bit later because it's quite complicated but let me first give you a live demonstration on what the air-to-air -air tasking is doing within a running mission and then you can experience it from an end-user point of view. So I got this test mission here, it's red, which is the flight that I'm going to join, and blue are some airplanes that are approaching the friendly airspace. You see an AWACS here, which is patrolling, an A-50. And now I have here a couple of client planes, with skill level client, that you can join in flight and approach the these blue airborne units that are entering the friendly airspace and you are there to attack them. Now what tasking will be about is that the AWACS will detect these intruders coming in your airspace so the command center which is here will be receiving the detected targets from the AWACS and will distribute to the unit that you have joined tasks and tasks are basically logical assignments that you can engage upon to destroy the targets that have been detected and if you destroy them you can then achieve accomplishments reaching the goal of the task and by doing that you can then achieve scores and you can accomplish larger missions for example the mission could be to destroy these four enemy units here or to keep airspace clean for a moment in time and so on and so on so I'm not going to explain you so let's fly. Um, when you look at the map here, you see the AWACS is patrolling and is scanning for targets. And when you go back to the cockpit view, what the system will do, the tasking, it is saying here that um, there are some intercept tasks defined and some engage tasks defined. So now you see Lima reporting that two tasks have been defined, an intercept and an engage task. And the difference between an intercept and engage is that an engage is you are positioned within reach of the targets that have been detected, while an intercept task is a long range engagement. Okay, let me continue. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to access the menu. So the Lima, which is the headquarters, is saying me you, there are some tasks here in the air to air mission that, that has been defined. Now let me get into the menu radio menu so I do other and then command center lima mission and here I get some uh, some other menu options a mission briefing a task reports menu system a, a statistics reports menu system and a planned tasks menu system let's go let's go into mission briefing this shows me the briefing that has been set up by the mission designer in the script which tells me watch the enemy air de units being detected. The first line will always be the call sign of the headquarters, Lima is the name, two mission words are wrong, so it should be one mission word, and an air-to-air -air mission, and then between brackets the priority of the mission, in this case high. The mission is idle, and that means that no player has engaged any task into that mission. And then it shows you the briefing report, which is that uh, text that has been set up by the mission designer. Let's continue. Let me get back to the menu. So I go F2, mission, and let me give some task reports. Let me show you the task report list. The mission air to air, you know, mission high, idle, task overview report. And then you get a list of the tasks that are being defined. And each task has a state. In this case, all the tasks are in state planned, which means that there's a task being defined. It has not been engaged by any player, so it's planned to be engaged. Okay, let me get back to the menu option. Let me go further. So now you can go into the task reports and say, give me the planned tasks. And now you receive a little bit more of details. So what you see now is the mission, air to air mission priority high, planned tasks report, and now you see the missions sorry the tasks in the missions being listed 
with more uh, details for you and, and um, for your friendly units um, it tells how many you see the target information so you got 1 a 10 a and then uh, bearing range altitude information is given 126 degrees for 24.1 kilometers at 2000 meters altitude and the same for intercept so there's another tar target which is further about 82 kilometers away at 2000 meters 91 degrees three targets this is a very dynamic system let me fly further what I'm now going to do is I'm going to engage on one of these tasks so I'm going to engage on the engage task so I go to plant task and I go engage oh. engage engage to join task now you see a cop another text so what you see now is the task engage user 2 uh, so Lima is telling that there's a briefing so bogies are nearby please close by uh, pa, pa, pa. you need to engage the intruders um, there's a message sent to the red coalition which everybody will receive that means that the task engage user 2 is assigned that means that the task will get from plant to a signed state and now the lima is saying to your group which is the four planes in the air and it directs the message to call sign 109 which is killer which is your name your group with the sign engage task has one of a 10 a targets left to be destroyed okay so now i'm going to well, i'm going to set up my radar and I'm going to fly towards that target there they are if you want to know where they are you can ask again now, now you see an assignment so because I got the task assigned F5 assigned task engage 002 I can, can go in there and I would like to see a report of the task status and now it tells me I need to fly at bearing 225 12.94 kilometers and coal it means the target is moving away from me I'm completely wrong so I need to fly it to the right direction there we are Right, so I got the lock on the target. Let me send a, a two seven in a minute. That's not near enough. Fox 1 Fox 2 Fox 3 wow. Now I got a hit Let me show you here Player killer hit an enemy target plane Pa 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 and you got one score right it's collapsing and now you get a lot of more text so now it will send to you and only to your group so the other players won't receive it you've destroyed a target your group assigned with task engage has zero targets left to be destroyed you've destroyed a target you get 20 scores and then it will send to everybody killer player killer destroyed an enemy plane that's a scoring that is doing that so you receive a four extra score because the threat level was a battle plane and the scoring is also dynamically calculated and it will send to the red coalition the task engaged 002 has been ended successful because there was one target within the engaged task um, this has now been completed and now let's fly further so now when I get back into the menu, 
I'm going to command center. I'm going to task reports. Now you see that engage 002 has state success. Intercept 001 has state planned. Let me get back here and show you a more detailed, no, not a detailed task report. Let me show you a statistics report of mission progress. So here now you see that player killer task engaged 002 is 100% completed and there haven't been any players engaged 001 uh, has been engaged or has been executed at all. Right. And now when I go into plan task and I go back into engage I shouldn't see engage 002, that's a mistake, but I should be able to select 001. So now I have three A and A targets left to be destroyed. Um, I need to fly bra 68, right? Now this may sound a bit gamey, maybe it is, but fortunately there are different ways of getting these coordinates let me show you so if I go here and I do other and I do system settings and I say for settings killer I want to get my coordinates in bulls format right so now when I do report on my assignment it will say yeah, Brian Bull, sorry, that's because it gives both here. Let me show you something else. Task report, assign task, right? Now you see only bulls being displayed instead of bra, and the routing and everything will show you bulls instead of bra as well. Yeah? So then, once you have that set up, you can go and engage the other targets. So this gives an overview of what the tasking system is all about. So it's really a multiplayer uh, cooperation uh, module that you can configure and you can engage upon targets with multiple players at the same time. Completing tasks, right? So I can go here and I can select one of these targets, right? And I can go and engage, they're very far away. So now you see a routing here coming up in the, in the top, bulls. I need to fly 313 degrees, but I'm flying, I'm taking the other one here. Uh, no, sorry, that's bull's information from the bull, bullseye uh, point. So, you see the point, right? You see the idea. So, I think I can even get miles and kilometers, right? Settings, player settings, measures, activate imperial. There you go. So what does Imperial do? It will give you miles. Yeah. Now I got arrived within the zone. This is all great. And let me get back to bra messaging because it's more easy for me. So you can you can really you know select your own um, settings. Right. Air to ground, air to air, bra. There you go. Right. So I can f I can engage this one. And do this. No, these uh, airplanes do not resist a lot. It's just for demo, right? These are bogey targets. There you go. So I got again new scores. Engage has two targets, two eight ends left to be destroyed. And if these targets are crashing and another unit that's not part of your task will destroy these targets, then you will see a message that these are targets have been destroyed. You, you won't get any points or any recognition for it. So for some reason my plane is damaged, I don't know. So anyway, uh, thanks for uh, watching this. Um, I will get back to you with uh, more information uh, soon. Bye-bye.